How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Benji's Vlogs and Adventures. Thanks for clicking on the video. I hope everyone's having a fantastic day or night, depending on where you guys are in the world and what time you guys are watching this video. Ah, tell you what guys, we've knocked off work about an hour ago, and we've been thinking on the way home. You know, something I haven't been doing for a long time, and that's exercise. Thought today would be a good day to start off with the little walk around the bush, and uh, get the get the legs flowing, get the blood pumping, because we haven't done it for a while. Or because the gym had closed down because of the current situation. So today is one of those days that we're just going to go and have a bit of a walk, get the blood flowing, and hopefully see some things that are pretty good, pretty cool. So without further ado, guys, let's go. I'm not going to go the usual traditional way up the walkway. I'm going to go up the rugged way because I uh, you always find to get a little bit more scenery to go on the rugged way get the slightly better angles for a prime example angles like that get to see the whole other side of the creek bed that runs up past there but uh, that's where we're heading one is starting to think that he should have put his beanie on before he got out of the car don't uh don't have a beanie on me at the moment, but uh, I've got the hoodie, which I think is going to do just fine for now. But uh, nonetheless, I should have grabbed a beanie, because the uh, wind is starting to pick up and it's starting to be uh, a little bit chilly. So, uh, yeah, didn't realise it was going to be this bloody cold this afternoon. Not only that, I've got to keep a little bit worried about the feet, because they're not exactly healed from, from Saturday. So I've got to be a little bit careful of that, so I don't think I'll be walking too far down the track. Just far enough to... Have a bit of a, a bit of a walk, get the blood flowing, whatever else is uh, good for the legs. There's always so many different uh, ways we can go. We can go up that way if we wanted to. We can go up that way if we wanted to, which I think we're going to go up that way. Because uh, if I remember correctly, I don't think that way really went anywhere. So I think we're going to continue on down this way. Because if I remember correctly, I think there's a little lift station up here that's uh, fairly rusted out. This is exactly what I was talking about, guys. Look at this. There's the old pump. Looks like it uh, attached itself to a tractor of some sort with the axle sitting there like that. And you got the old little tank sitting right next to it right there. Jeez. I remember seeing it from the, uh, as you guys can just barely see, the creek bed just on the other side. I uh, originally saw it from over there the first time I saw it. But to see it from this side is absolutely awesome. definitely something that you don't see every day either guys look at that 
It's an old friggin' truck sitting in the middle of friggin' nowhere. <laughs> Wouldn't even tell you what it is. Looks like it might be a might have been an old Dodge of some sort. Maybe an old Datsun, maybe Nissan. Not hundred percent sure. But that is something that you don't see every day. And I'm actually glad that I came down this way instead of the creek bed or the other side of the creek bed. Because I know there's a walkway that just runs all the way, all the way that side. But uh, instead I decided to come this way as you guys can see it's pretty rugged. Also got to be very careful too because sometimes these can lead onto people's properties. You wouldn't have a bloody clue where they lead to. Because as you guys can see out there, there's a fence up there and it looks like there's a bit of a BMX track over to these jumps. So I don't know if these lead onto someone's property or they, some of the kids come out here and have a bit of a bit of a run down up there have a bit of a jump but there's a whole heap of bike tracks all the way through here like uh, from the wheels bike tracks but uh, yeah I don't know I'll give probably a couple more minutes up that way see how we go if not I'll uh, head on back because I don't want to trespass on anyone's property because uh, that's the one thing that we don't want to do it looks like someone's been watching too many bushcraft videos it's a bit of a makeshift thing right here and that looks like that's a bit of a fire wall that used to stand because there's a bit of a fire pit right in the middle right about there that's pretty cool that is insane all right let's keep going wasn't expecting to see any of this stuff down here either looks like um hedge trimmers and a small shovel sitting over there a little bit of a jump there. All right, looks like this is as far as we could go, guys. It's just a big empty sort of clearing. Well, it's not overly big, but it's still big enough. As you guys can see, there's no more walkways, except for the one that we just come up, which is that one there. And there's basically nothing anywhere else. I do say we've got to go back now, so that's all right. Nothing wrong with uh, backtracking on the way we came. We, uh, and some things that we didn't expect to see down here, so that's always a fun thing. gonna start heading back now there really isn't much else to see down there except for the little makeshift sort of camp and the old beat down rusted out truck and uh, a couple of jumps that a couple of kids have made it's good to see that the kids are getting out there doing some stuff like that instead of sitting on their bums like me doing some video games and everything else all the time which is good to see being out here makes me feel like I want to go camping again hopefully once this uh, whole situation blows over in the next couple of months hopefully fingers crossed we can uh, go out camping again because uh, when we went out to uh, Burren Beat that was one of the best uh, three to four day trip that we've had in a very long time because we didn't go camping like that for about two three years we uh, went to Port Ferry or down to Torquay for a week and mind you they had all the essential showers, flushable toilets and everything else in between. There was plenty of people around. They didn't have a long drop like we had out there. Mind you, I still had fun nonetheless. But this being out here, it makes me feel like I just want to go camping again. And a lot more lush green places like this. Now, out here would be a bit too dangerous simply because of the uh, fl flooding that this area would obviously go through uh, being as you guys can see the washout as you can see right there uh, it would be highly dangerous to do anything any sort of camping out here um, especially even hiking especially when it's been raining because you can't really see but the yu yangs are up there as you guys know any rains up high always like to run through here pretty 
pretty deep, pretty quick. I may have said this the last time I was out here filming that um, if you ever got lost out here, there's plenty of building materials. Uh, build a shelter, definitely build a fire out of something like that. Uh, thing is, that's a hardwood. Now you got yourself something like this. Now you could potentially use it as an A-frame. Just chuck a little tarp over that if you're really in desperate need of shelter. There's, there's a bit of water just up over there that uh, is a bit green and stagnant. So you probably need one of those survival straws or filtration system of some sort to uh, get rid of all the algae and all the germs, which you'd probably have to boil it. <sighs> well, that's it, guys. Walk is done. It was a little little a uh, little bit more rugged than I thought it would be but uh, nonetheless we survived it toes weren't too happy about it but anyways I need to do something about this uh, whole exercise thing while we've got a chance because I'm not sure when the gym's gonna reopen again but uh, yeah there's a couple of good ideas I tell you what if I was uh, one of those camping channels down here would be a perfect spot for any sort of bushcraft videos, you know, building the structure, fireplace and all that sort of stuff, using the materials that we've got around, because it would have been uh, would have been perfect for, you know, building a little uh, A-frame structure or something, have it all leading to on everything. And um, no, I didn't really see much water. I think most of it's all dried up now. So it, um, yeah, it was an interesting little walk, nonetheless. Next stop for today is home. Get ourselves home, relax for a little bit, and uh, possibly read a book. Because we've uh, sort of exhausted ourselves a little bit with uh, watching videos, even movies. Starting to get a bit boring now. Henceforth is why I decided to come out for a walk today and potentially have a bit of a read this afternoon to sort of break up the day, break up the routine a little bit because we are. Uh, as you would say, getting a little bit bored with uh, with uh, sitting at home watching videos all the time. Your point is an elephant. long now guys until the sun goes down probably got another 15 20 minutes before she decides to go fully down and all this starts to go dark but I don't know what it is but I absolutely love this color of the day can't probably really see it but look at that bit of red right there bit of white and green and that red skies I often wonder if I decided to choose to go down the road of a camping sort of video I often wondered about that guys if I decided to be an um, outdoors sort of activity guy you know go out camping fishing all the time you know do a lot of like bushcraft videos and all that sort of stuff where would I have gone with that I don't know something that I wonder about quite a lot you know being out in nature makes you feel bloody awesome that is for sure even just going for walks like we did just a few moments ago you know going out for walks like that is awesome <clears throat> but yeah I've always wondered where it would have led if I decided to go down that way but nonetheless I'm glad that I've uh, come down this road with YouTube you know I've uh, you know, I speak to a lot of awesome people, Evie Bubbles, Killart702, Tom, uh, CJ Ethan I think his name is as well, he's also a little bit of a gamer, uh, Josh as well, he also loves his fishing, I haven't really heard from, from Josh for a while, we usually have a bit of a chat on via Instagram, but I uh, haven't really spoke to him for a while, that's for sure. 
I think once all this sort of stuff is blown over, I'm going to try and get out and do, say, a week's worth of camping um, when we get a chance. Um, going to have to lose a little bit of weight before we do that because uh, <laughs> we are very unfit at the moment. <clears throat> and because the gym's closed down, it's a bit hard to, you know, maintain that sort of routine that we used to have of uh, exercising three to five time, times a week. So we're going to have to figure something out. I think walking every afternoon is going to be the way. And not only that, I dare say I'm going to have to jump on the bike every night if it's uh, too cold or, well, not too cold, but wet. Is uh, more of the thing that we've got to worry about is if the weather is too wet for it. Oh, well, if that was dinner, I've had it. Something that I haven't had for a very long time is tuna mornay with rice. It's uh, mum makes it from scratch, well, except for the tuna and rice. Uh, but she makes a sauce out of all the stuff that she's got, uh, which is always awesome. But, uh, I think the bowl was just a little too big, though, that's the thing. I uh, just spent the last hour looking for my alarm clock. Do you think I can find it? Nope. <laughs> That'd be typical me with a pigsty of a room, can't find nothing. But I did end up coming across some old, old photographs of me when I was a wee lad. I'm talking at least 12 years ago, if not more. There's some photos of an old school excursion. There's uh, photos up in there that I found that were from when I was in school up in Queensland 14 plus years ago. Can't believe on how different we look from then to now. It is absolutely stunning to see old photos, especially when you see yourself holding a 14 year old nephew and he's when he's only just five minutes old you know so it is very weird seeing old photos but I was originally looking for my alarm clock but because I wanted to put it on my little um, bedside table over there so at night time I could check the time whatever time I woke up I'm going I'm going past JB tomorrow anyway so we can potentially get another one then so we'll uh, see the prices of them tomorrow when we get there uh, it's a bit of a bummer that we lost the other one, but mind you, it is an old one, so... Alright guys, I'm going to put the camera down for until tomorrow. I'm pretty knackered, I'm going to read a book for a little bit, and then I'm going to go to sleep. I'm pretty knackered, I don't know if you guys can tell with my eyes, but... Uh, they're a little bit bloodshot at the moment, so I'm a teeny weeny bit tired, so I'm going to go to bed. And we'll pick up this tomorrow, so we'll see you guys tomorrow. Just like that, another day is done and dusted, guys. It's kind of cool because today is payday, so we're going to go get the things that we need from the shops, as we were discussing before. There is one thing that I'm going to put on my other channel, the gaming channel that we've got, so that we can um, give it a little bit of a practice shot because what we're going to be grabbing will be helping us out severely with the uh, streaming and so on and so forth, so we can uh, continue on doing that. So. Instead of me sitting here blabbing on like I usually do, let's get and get this stuff sorted out. Finally made it guys, I thought I'd never get out of that ruddy traffic on the way home. Bloody hell, never expected traffic to get this bad. Now that we uh, sorted that out, it's time for us to head off home, get this bad boy set up. I'm going to give you a little hint of what it might be. 
had something to do with this. That's right guys, something to do with what you see here. It uh, basically focuses on in one particular area. Uh, I'm not going to specify where exactly because um, I've got to sort of get it all set up, get it all looking schmicky and everything else in between. The only way to do that is to get home and well, have it all sort of in position and everything else in between. I'm not very good at keeping secrets, I must admit, but uh, this is going to help us hopefully in the future. I'll be watching plenty of videos on how to, let's say, set it up properly. This is it guys, the final little product that we decided to go and buy down at Woodgrove this afternoon. As you guys can see, it's good for the live streaming side of things. It's also a good little handy thing because you can just push a button, whether it's for YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Twitch or Discord. Just push a button and it will show up here. I'll give you a little prime example. We'll close that. Push a button. And voila. It will open a tab. Do Twitch. Twitter. We'll open it up there. Open another one there. And open another one there. It's primarily just to help us out with doing live stream so we can just hit a button instead of having to close the game down and then go and close OBS down. So this will help with the gaming something chronic, something decent. So yeah, it's a decent little thing because I can control quite a few different things. Once we get a little bit closer for you. So basically the top button here on the left hand side is ooh, Sorry guys, this one here is to start and stop the stream. That is basically for the cam or the camera. That's basically for the display, basically the whole display. And then all these buttons here, basically for all the um, sound. So that's basically microphone, that's the display um, game sound, display one, display two. So desktop for these two. Um, the gameplay for that one, and that's just all ordinary sound. So as you guys can see, I got the websites here. What I can do is I can change those up, which I'll do that in just a sec. Give you guys a bit more of an understanding what uh, you can do with this thing. There you go, guys. You can change the icons around for what is what. I'll end up eventually changing the icons for these ones around eventually. But uh, for now, I've got to figure out what icons I want for these. So, got Instagram with the crossbones because uh, I'm. It's quite a rather deadly thing for me because I like to sit on it way too much. And then you got the bird for Twitter, and obviously the YouTube thing up here, Facebook thing there, Twitch and Discord is a little robot's face. Yeah. Anyways. That's basically the new thing. We still got all these other ones to fill up. It is a 32 key little board, so that will help us out quite a bit. So that's basically the fun part of the day, well, second day of this vlog at least, is getting the little switchboard thingy, my bub. <laughs> Not only that, the second thing of today is the new hat. Mum has made this over the last couple of days. And it must admit, it is nice and ruddy warm. I'll openly admit that. It's made of 100% wool, and this is a two-tone colour. As you can see, it's grey on top and creamy white here. So, Mum's done it in like two days or three days, something like that. But, nonetheless, I love the hat. I love the little switchboard. And not only that, my head's going to be nice and warm, nice and snug in this. That is for sure. Alrighty guys, that will be it for today. Thanks for being a part of this vlog. I know it's probably a little bit long, longer than I usually have. So, yeah, I'll let you guys go. Thanks for being a part of it. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being awesome. Until the next time, guys, keep it easy.